Okay, what fun. Uh, all right, 29 miles, 51 minutes. Oh, look at that, 247 watt hours per mile. How'd that happen? Uh, obviously, it's not anywhere near as hot, right? So that helps. Okay, so um, coming out on Boggy Ford as we patch past the uh, Highland Lake Boulevard stop sign. Tesla reaches out and decides it's the, it's their stop sign or the FSD stop sign. So whatever, uh, brake, keep on going, normal stuff. Um, everything else is fine, normal. Um, actually, a lot of this feels like a pretty uh, routine day, actually. So um, the magical Tesla, Tesla traffic light, yes, it's there. Um, slow down to 34. There was no cars behind me, so I just let him do what he's going to do. Uh, he's he, he's not gonna learn. Um, so we get get all the way down to uh, so the whole thing. We get down to Anderson Mill. Um, he decides he's gonna go, but there's also the people who are making a left turn, coming from the other way. Uh, they they also can go. So. Uh, it appears FSD did not consider that possibility. So uh, um, when I saw that pickup coming at us, I, I braked and let the pickup go. Um, FSD back on. And so roughly about equivalent to the uh, weird magical stop space that uh, we saw the other day. Was that just yesterday? I think it was. Um, so going going the other way, apparently that mar that space is also marked as a slow down to 15 miles an hour space. I'm sorry, I didn't capture what the speed limit indication was. I just know that we slowed down and I was like, okay, brake, get going, because uh, there's cars coming up on me. Um, I don't I don't know what. Maybe if somebody, okay, I already said this before. Let's move on. Okay. So, um, what I'm noticing is if the car sees brake lights, it reacts. Even, even if the brake lights are not in our lane and don't matter to us, he reacts. Okay, whatever. Of course, that's not always the case. So, I'm coming up on a pickup pulling a trailer, and I see his right turn signals on. So, okay, let's, let's move over and go around them. Well... Just as I'm about to, I mean, we're actually halfway out of out of the lane, into the other lane. When all of a sudden, the, the guy with the trailer hits his brakes, and the car, <gasps> and brakes. Well, you have room. We're already moving left. You don't have to have such a strong reaction to it. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. Um, no big deal. Just hit the brakes kick the FSD out of the equation and just handle it. Okay, not a big deal. Okay, coming at, so I'm not going to the Valenti way today. I'm letting FSD, uh, I'm letting navigation FSD control it because they don't, they don't understand. They don't understand going down Valenti Road. They, they like being surrounded by a bunch of traffic, apparently. Oh, Okay, whatever. Um, coming up onto the uh, intersection with uh, 620. Um, that that uh, right turn lane. I mean, when we roll up, the light's green, so we can go. But when the car gets around, it's his turn to go. He's going like, what, what, I, I don't know how to hand, hand, I don't know how to handle this. All right, so I just give him a little accelerator to get him moving, which worked. Um, I, I don't, I don't know what he's waiting on. I mean, if you're waiting for a light turn green, well, the light's green. If you're waiting to confirm that there's no traffic about to hit you, you should have already done that. But okay, maybe, maybe you have a point there. Who knows? Okay. Um, and then uh, we hit the the Tesla magical 35 mile per hour zone. 
at least there's just one it used to be there was three different ones in there so anyway uh hit the scroll wheel up like i said before yes yes officer i am doing 55 in a 55 zone uh, uh what did tesla tell you oh it was a 35 zone look around check the signs it, it, it's it's only 35 to some bozo with that data okay whatever peace and harmony um so we move along right around uh home depot we run into a huge traffic jam uh i'm from what the way it looks from where i am um it's just a bunch of people who are going to turn left so there's no reason why the outside lane should be blocked up by people going left but you know how people are They're like oh well I, I need to be in the outside lane because uh that's the fastest way well uh we're in a traffic jam whatever fine so um coming up at the traffic light at uh 2222 um Sure enough, the car kind of reacts to, um, well, I don't know what it's reacting to, but it's accelerating slowly off off the green light. We're following a Jeep. Now, that Jeep's not accelerating strongly, but he is pulling away from us. For some reason, the car is going, oh, I don't know if I can get close to that Jeep. And it turns out there's a reason for it. He doesn't know how to signal his turn when he finally gets to his turn. As soon as he gets in, in the turn lane, Oh yeah, the car takes off. Boom. Gone. So he really didn't like that Jeep. I don't know why. Maybe because it's a Jeep. Um, whatever. Um, today, I guess what I'm looking for is I'm in the inside lane. So when we come up to the opening for the uh, left turn into Quinlan Park Road, uh, I'm checking to see if there's a turn signal. There's no turn signal. Okay, brake, FSD off, move into the turn lane. And I just, I just sent a message saying, I'm making a left turn because the car can't handle it. Which is true. Car has no clue. The car has absolutely no clue that he has to get over into the turn lane when the opening shows up. Uh, I don't know. what. Where is this head at? Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. It's all fine. Um... We come down the road. Oh, right, because because I braked, I made a smooth left turn. And then once I got on Quinlan Park Road, then I re-invoke FSD. All right, so FSD got me dressed away. So, other than I really hate that stunt where he's going, oh, I think I'll just stop here in Mill Road. I really hate that. But the rest of it, most of it's, None of it's horrible. Most of it's good. A few things are not so nice, but whatever. It is what it is. There you go. Okay, 29 miles. 48 minutes. 250 watt hours per mile. Wow. Of course, since last charge is 249, so it's actually up a little bit. But okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. So, what an interesting day. Um, I just confirmed, yes, we're on 11.3.6. My navigation data is still 14.515. So nothing's changed there. Um, well, one thing is different is I didn't go into Cedar Park, right? So that made a difference. I mean, it shouldn't have, but I mean, it obviously has. So, um, this afternoon, how'd it go? So coming out of Steiner Ranch, FSD on, um, use the turn signal, push him into the left lane. Uh, there was a couple of times where the car threw in the right turn signal and I canceled it. Um, I get it. He's like, oh, I need to move out of the way for faster traffic. No, you don't. Let them pass on the right. Um, well, so that's not exactly safe. Yes, but we're going to come up on a left turn pretty soon, so 6 one half doesn't the other. And the way traffic flows on 620, it doesn't matter which lane you're in. Okay, whatever. Um, yes, the Tesla Magical Speed Zone did show up. 
Um, yes, I did indeed do 55 in the 35 zone, according to Tesla. Of course, everybody else was too, or faster, um, because according to the state, I guess it is, maybe the city, it's 55 there. I don't know why, we're going, why he wants to be slowed down. Um, so, I I don't know... I, I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, just give the facts, Ray. Okay, so, right outside H-E-B, uh, there was a car wanting to come out. Um, I wasn't even looking at him. I wasn't. The, the, the light was red, I guess, and it turned green. And the car in front of me moved up. And before I even reacted, this car was already coming out. Assuming that I, I was stopped so he could get in there. Now, I had, I assumed FST would go, so I wouldn't even pay close attention. If FST allowed this guy to get in, wow. That's, that's uh, different. Uh, I'm not sure I'm exactly in favor of this because from my viewpoint, those people should be using the traffic light. And guess what? He's he's trying to get across the road anyway, which which is stupid. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. That happened and it surprised me. I'm not even sure if it was supposed to do that. It, it, I just noticed it happened. Um, so coming up on the... Uh, Anderson Mill traffic light. Um, I know I don't have much patience in this case. Um, as soon as I start getting close, brake FSD off, go into the left turn, left lane, or the uh, turn lane. I guess you call it the turn lane before it's the left turn lane. Um, but that's what you have to do to get lined up to make that left turn. You have to come into the turn lane before they're marking it off for just left turns. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know why, I don't know whether it's TxDOT or City of Austin, doesn't matter to me. I guess it's TxDOT actually. Somebody should come out there and lengthen that left turn lane. I mean, it's, you have to, it's, it's the way it is. Okay, whatever, whatever, Peace Army. Um, so, I mean, I just make the message, hey, you guys can't handle it, I'm, I'm doing it for you. Okay, fine. Um, so make the left turn, uh, re-invoke FSD. Um, wow, yeah, it was actually very surprisingly good here. So, uh, FS, oh, so for a little while we're, we're next to a Jeep, um, and for some reason FSD was kind of doing a left-right swing, uh, what are, I forgot what the word is for it. Anyway, he's going right and he's going left, he's a drunk driver. Um, I don't know. I was doing this next to a Jeep. It's like, like sometimes he's getting up close to this Jeep, and other times he's like, oh, there's a curb over there. Maybe I can hit the curb. Um, maybe California Road Ragers uh, acting up a little bit, and uh, the rest of the team is having to work hard to keep them under, under wraps, so to speak. And every once in a while he grabs it, and, oh, we're going left. Oh, you're going right. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. I mean, it, it was unusual for FST to be doing that, so I'm not quite sure what was going on there. But nobody got hurt. No accidents were avoided. And no accidents occurred. So um, it's all good. So um, I hadn't mentioned this before, but uh, Anderson Mill was getting down near Cedar Park High School. It goes, down, it goes from three lanes down to two. So the inside lane goes away. Um, there was a car that was kind of hanging around. It was be, it's back behind me, but there's a car kind of hanging around in, in the inside lane, which is where usually if, if, if you want to pass people, that's where you go. But you just have to be sure you're committed and you, you, you get just gun through it. Um, whatever. It almost looked like FST's like, that guy, I don't trust that guy. Oh, California Road Ranger, yeah. California Road Ranger showed up, said, I don't trust that guy. I, I'm, I'm going to make a strange left hook and then go straight. Okay, he didn't have to do that, but message sent. 
and I'm sure the person received it. Okay, whatever. Um, so we're following a Dodge, I'm sorry, I always want to call him a Dodge, it's not a Dodge, it's a Ram. Because it has a big Ram head on the back, right? We're following a Ram pickup who's for some reason is doing 35 in the 45 zone, I, I don't know. Uh, although he could have been following somebody, actually. It could be that Jeep who, when we got close to the traffic light, he made a sudden surge to make sure he got over to the left, apparently. I mean, I didn't see it exactly because it was up in front of me, but um, later on, the the Ram had to stop or come to a abrupt stop, and so we did too. Um, not quite as abrupt, but still kind of. Uh, and it turned out that it was that Jeep making a right turn. So, I mean, doesn't know how to drive maybe. I don't know. You, you think uh, you think you would think a ram and a jeep would get along with each other They're the same family okay whatever peace and army um so coming up on where uh anderson mill opens back up out to uh four lanes um i go i go to the right and uh the tesla magical speed limit of 25 shows up so i have to use scroll wheel to keep the car cut going um, that's fine. I mean, it's just, it's normal behavior now. It's, it's expected. I, I don't know what I'm going to do when the car behaves correctly. It's going to be so bizarre. Okay, whatever. We're going. Um, <coughs> California Road Rager shows, so after a while, California Road Rager, Rager shows up and says, No, we have to be on the inside lane. Okay, the inside lane is going to come to an end before too long. Um, anyway, California Road. Oh no, I gotta be in left lane. Okay, fine. Uh, this time, this time, traffic's okay, so I let him win. And so he 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 gets in the left lane. He stays in that left lane until, of course, the lines force him to go back right. I'm sure at that point he's like, what happened? I was doing so well, man. Okay. Well, I, guess what? The other day when I said, why are we going into the quarry? Or are we going to go gravel driving or what? Anyway, that really struck a chord with California Road Rager. Oh, yeah. Almost to the point where I guess this is the new Tesla shortcut to Lago Vista, baby. I mean, I don't know. I mean, to be fair to you guys, I haven't gone tried going down there. Although I have said the trucks coming up from there, they're those big gravel pit trucks. Right? They're those kind of things. I don't want to go down there in my Model 3. Oh, I'll, I'll end up stranded like a turtle. Or either that or I'll tear the battery pack open. Neither one of those sounds like a, a very exciting option to me. But when I, whatever. Um, so actually, this being a weekday, I'm not really sure I should let them do it. But I know it's like, oh, well, I can kind of go right. And then, um, then see how it can get turned around again. So that's what I do. Uh, this time there was no trucks coming up. There was no flag truck there. Um... I don't know. What is he doing? What is he doing? Whatever. Peace and harmony. Nobody got hurt. So, um, FSD off until we got FM 1431. Um, this is just because you got to have the autopilot wheel to, to bring it back on. But California Road Ranger, oh, he had his day. Oh, yeah. Um, Okay, yeah, get on FM 1431. The traffic is, is mixed today. There's some fast people, some slow people. Some people try and impress that they're really going fast and then they forget that they're going fast. It's all the pretty much normal stuff. Um, and and um, everything runs pretty smoothly up through Jonestown. And, and 
as usual, coming up the hill out of Jonestown, there's the people who are going, oh, I'm going really fast. And, and um, you know, what can you say? So in this case, I'm, I'm in the left lane and there's a car that's on my right and he's making sure I don't move to the right. Right, he's kind of tracking my speed. I don't know why. I mean, it, he looks like the kind that wants to jam the accelerator and get up the road. But whatever, he, it, he's just, it's just the way it is. So, um, after a while, after, after a few feet, yeah, so, there, some, somehow the space opened up on the right, I moved to right, and yeah, sure enough, the pickup that was following me accelerates pretty hard to go away. Okay, go. When? Just try try going 70 miles an hour and make sure that there's no cops in front of me. Not that it matters. I'm not really speeding, am I? Um, anyway, whatever, peace and army. Um, because there there is some traffic around me, when we get up to the magical Tesla traffic light, I just hit the brake, turn FS, FSD off, go through the intersection, and re-invoke FSD on the other side. <coughs> like I said, this feels like a, a, a no-hope situation where Tesla doesn't care. They're not going to fix it. So just suck it up, buttercup. Um, anyway, um, since we're on the inside lane, I just flow down to uh, the intersection of Loma Ford. Um, FSD is just a touch late getting left into the turn lane, but there was nobody who was going to attempt to go by us. So it's okay. Um, making the turn onto Loma and Ford, oh my goodness. Um, so it, 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 it's kind of creeping up, but it's kind of like making sharp little rights, but all of a sudden it makes a smooth arcing turn in Loman Ford. Oh, that part, oh, beautiful. Tesla, if you could just follow that. Okay, whatever, that was good. Now, the jerkiness before we got to there, well, that wasn't so, that was kind of lame. Okay, whatever. Um, going down Loman Ford, yes, he turns on his turn signal twice. I cancel it both times. No, sorry guys. I'm not interested in entertaining your need to go down Don Drive. I don't want to go down Don Drive. And my navigation doesn't say I'm going down Don Drive. So why are we going there? Right, why go there? And uh, we're, it's August 1st. In a week and a half or so, there's going to be school school's going to be in session. Well, I guess it's just, be, it would be just before school that's out, I think. Is it? It's 217 right now. That's actually pretty close to that time. So I guess I would have been there just before the school zone, but whatever. But there's traffic in there. It gets a mess. Um, I heard that those are kids going to elementary school and for some reason there are parents who go pick up kids <coughs> let me know if you never heard of this of course I guess if, if you're like 21 and never been married maybe you have no idea yes try driving through a school zone when school's letting out and Lago Vista oh my god I mean, when we drove the school buses, we left early so that we could get into the bus pickup before the cars blocked us in, right? And we actually had people who were, they're not supposed to come up to the front of school. That's where the school bus pickup is. They're supposed to go around to the back to pick up their kids. But some people would come up to the front. And, oh, they'd be very disappointed when they find that all the buses have arrived while they're inside. Because we would block that parking lot. No in, no out. Why is that? It's for the safety of the children. You don't want cars moving through there if the kids... Kids are just running out. I mean, 
the teachers are trying to control them, but there's always some kids that are going to run. Okay. This is not the place you want to be if you really had to be somewhere. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. I'm just saying, when that, when, when that time comes, forget you, FSD. I am definitely not going down Don Drive. Or Travis Drive. No way. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. Um, because I didn't get into the outside lane... We continue smoothly on, just like navigation said to. Amazing what you have to do to get things to happen correctly when it's already clear what's supposed to happen. Okay. Um, we come up to um, Boggy Ford just as the light turns red. The car stops smoothly. Excellent. That's what's supposed to happen. And there's a pickup on the other side road that's going to go straight. Oh, oops, what? Somebody tell FSD. That pickup over there, he's going to go straight across the road. Guess what FSD does? FSD says, oh, this is a right turn on red state. I think I'll do a right turn on red. Without checking the fact that that pickup just got a green light and he's going. What an idiot. I swear, man. Okay, whatever. Um, so, break FSD off. Wait for the pickup to go by. Oh, so that was almost an accident, wasn't it? What? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I was thinking how well things were going. I had overlooked that. Yes, if I had let FSD have his way, there would have been an accident. And it would have been pickup's fault because he had a green light. So, hey, Tesla, we're going to have to talk a little bit more. I think you should pick up the insurance whenever FSD's on. Maybe then you take it more seriously. Then again, if you wreck my car, maybe you'll have to give me a brand new Model 3. Oh, oh, that sounds so horrible. Okay, whatever. Peace and harmony. All right, so anyway, because uh, cause on Boggy Ford, I have a hard time getting the autopilot wheel um, <clears throat> I'm, <coughs> I'm starting to go up the hill and all of a sudden the autopilot wheel shows up ding ding and FSD's on alright FSD on um, oh wow that's actually two of them whoa I was, I was thinking so positively and all of a sudden it's hit me that there's some real negatives here um, so I, I just barely avoided hitting a pit or getting hit by a pickup because FSD decided he wanted to go, um, on a right, on a right turn on red. And what's the last word there? Red as a red stoplight. Okay. So going through Boggy Ford, no big deal. It's just kind of the same old thing of. Ooh, it's a curve. I need to slow down 10, uh, actually 10 miles an hour practically. Okay, 8. Okay, I'll give you 8. Um, whatever. So we're rolling up on the intersection with American. There's a car coming the other way. Um, I mean, if you were to slam on accelerator and go right then, maybe you could make it. You delay one little bit, you're not going to make it. Okay, maybe you could, barely. But right now, FSD is not accelerating with any authority. I mean, sometimes he will, but not consistently enough to have faith in it. So I brake. Let let the car go by and then make the left turn. Okay. What that? Oh, brake. FSD is off. Why did I brake? To avoid having an accident. Yes. All right, so that's actually two accidents avoided by the human driver who's supposedly less safe than FSD. Wow. Well, okay, I guess that that's... I didn't want to go... I, I wanted... So what I wanted to say before was it's kind of funny when you call FSD stupid to his face on YouTube 
then he starts responding, start cleaning up. And that, that stunt, or the two stunts over there by the quarry, like, okay, it's just California Road Rager being California Road Rager. Um, is it right? No. But I don't think there's any way for Tesla to take control of their, their uh, system. But now that I just realized, yes, I almost had an accident with a pickup today. And if I had let FSD do its thing, you could blame FSD, but that's not the way the law sees it, do they? They see it as the driver who's me. Okay. The other one, I'll give you a buy on, because that was more my preference than it was actually like, oh my good, we almost had a wreck. No, we weren't nowhere near having a wreck. It was just, I didn't like how it was looking. And so I took action before it looked worse. Okay. But that's it. I tell you what, I'll give you the benefit of a doubt. Although it's pretty clear FSD, FSD was going to go and make a right turn on Boggy Ford as that pickup was coming across. Now, you can make an argument that we would have been most of the way through the right turn before the truck got there. You could make that argument. That doesn't make it safe. It doesn't make it right. Okay. So sorry guys, I was wanting to say something more positive, but there you go. It's a D. I'll give you a D today. Okay. I mean, wow. I, I, I was going to forget about that one, but that was pretty bad. Okay, there you go.